Sneak attack! <clears throat> Sorry about that. So last year, I've added Gold Seal Cheap Shot to the collection. And I have a nice little collection of arrows for it. But the thing I want to do is, last year I shot Gold Steel Buckler. And I'm wanting to test to see if we have a synthetic material that we could make a comparable use the same mold and get some more better results now i don't want to suggest that this buckler is actually deficient hema groups all over the place use this for exactly what it's intended for and sometimes even abused a bit and it does just fine i'm just a little more worried about taking a crossbow bolt to the face than most people so i have i'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation on this um I feel like I'm adding a vowel there. But anyway, most people just call it ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. About a half inch thick. And we're going to shoot this with our new slew of cold steel cheap shot bolts or arrows, depending upon who you ask. And we're going to break out the Carbon Express Heritage. And I have a new, just arrived today, Vantage Point Archery 300 grain point and an Alaska bow hunting 315 grain point. I really like the geometry on the Alaska bow hunting, but the Vantage Point Archery seems to actually last heavy impacts a little better. I decided I was going to try and remedy this because they make these a little bit too hard. I soften this up, put it in the oven 400 degrees for about an hour, see if that actually improves the durability. And then the other thing we're going to do is I got some half inch plywood. This is going to represent a little bit of a baseline to give you some idea. Most people have access to plywood. I'm not going to really simulate any particular shield or anything like that. Just just a reference point. I have these lovely little 200 grain points and some 125 grain bobkin type points. I have the injection metal molded parts. Uh, another sintered steel part, 125 grain. In order to get this to shoot accurately, I have to get some uh, much larger feathers on it otherwise it would kind of veer around my target and it was kind of funny to see it hit exactly behind the target but anyway old steel cheap shot is going to represent a lower powered bit of archery equipment and the carbon express heritage is going to represent a fairly powerful crossbow todd's workshop has did some testing on scholagrim's crossbow and they got about 75 foot pounds i think it was and this with these bolts we'll get about 85 foot pound. 103 joules versus like 115, something like that, somewhere in there. The plywood first, see what that looks like, and then we're gonna shoot the polyethylene. We'll do the three blade first. process of extracting the three blade out of the plywood it did not survive so it will not be going to the final round We look at the results here we see my injection molded point went in and bounced out the only point that did much in way of actually going through was the alaska bow hunting and if you were holding the shield any distance away from your body at all this actually wouldn't do a whole lot i mean that much into your body would be a bad would be a bad day 
but certainly a lot worse than the alternative. Now, I'm not saying that the cold steel buckler is a bad product. It does exactly what people all over the country, in Hema, all over the world, I should say, they do in HEMA clubs, and that's practice with either synthetic wooden or sometimes even sharp swords with these, and it's fine. Until further notice, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene is the new gold standard for all synthetic protecting oneself from a flurry of arrows. A contingency, I'm sure, keeps us all awake at night. I'm not saying that cold steel should start making it out of this material, but if they did, I would buy at least one targe a buckler, maybe even their new mini buckler. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.